Hello everyone, Mark Trace here and welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna try out the Jordan 35s in the center of gravity colorway so I'm just uh, gonna gear up and wait for my friends to come and let you know my first impression with the sneaker later on as I played with them. Alright, let's catch you later. So far guys, it's very easy to put your foot in in the sneaker while I'm putting it on. I'll just uh, react on some details of the sneaker. The laces is inward, so that's nice. It's a nice detail of the Jordan 35s. It's not out here like other sneakers. And this is one of the most effective lacing system. The flight wire are inside and it gives you a very nice one-to-one -one fit of your sneakers when you're wearing it. Go. So I'm lacing it up until the last lace loop. See what happens. So far, the fit, first impression of the sneaker, it's very comfortable. On the foot, very nice materials. Not much plastic materials here. So let's go.
Just finished playing some three-on-threes and my back is aching right now. I think I've stretched my lower back muscle and something happened with the shoe. So I'm going to elaborate that in a while. So first, I have the Jordan 35 in my hand in the center of gravity colorway. So let's start off first with the upper of the Jordan 35 like in my unboxing if you haven't watched it yet i'll be putting the link in the description down below and as for the upper there's some new buck suede yeah, i think this is new buck because it's short haired the gray areas are the new buck goes around to the heel part of the sneaker and this other gray is some kind of fused mesh that is hard and heavily foamed and on the toe area there's a ripstop mesh material that is quite soft uh, uh, first up when i first wore this sneaker it was very comfy it was very nice on foot but something happened and i'm going to tell that to you in a bit and the tongue as for the tongue's material it's also ripstop material and the top of the tongue is a foam back that is kind of pressed but still very nicely padded and there's a lot of nice padding around the ankle those Achilles pillows those are very nice for heel containment heel lockdown and ankle protection if you're really tightening up the ankle part of the sneaker as for the support of the sneaker since it has leather on the side even though there is no plastic or TPU piece here on the lateral part like the Jordan 34 it's still very good in terms of support laterally and medially even in the forward stop they're still very well contained it's very durable i like it when i was doing some step back i didn't feel any delays there was no stretch in the material it was really good just tying up the laces especially in the forefoot area if you want to have a very nice lateral support and support around the forefoot area but beware guys this is the part that I was kind of disappointed with the sneaker. I usually tighten the sneaker with all the laces. But something happened during the third game that we're playing. It's actually the fifth game right now. I felt some discomfort around the middle part midfoot. And I think my skin was chafing. And I was correct. My skin chafed. I initially thought it was the cushion, the filing material around the midfoot. That was touching my midfoot middle part. But no. And I thought it was the light wire that was hitting my midfoot but actually my guess is the insole the insole around the middle part is quite high i think that's a culprit that causes the chafing or the blisters around my midfoot so watch out for that so what i did with the fourth game is i kind of loosen up around the midfoot part of my left sneaker it happened first here in my left sneaker and during the fourth game I kind of felt it too around the midfoot of the right so I didn't play on the last game I didn't want to injure myself and not play in the next game day as I'm looking at it good thing I stopped because I kind of stopped the chafing a bit so I think I'm gonna ice this put some compress in this so that it won't bulge up so blisters are really 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 uncomfortable so I think it's the insole that's cutting my skin and it's not the flight wire because there's a padded material in between the flight wire and my skin and my sock so I think it's really the insole that's cutting my skin so unfortunately that has to happen just a warning to you guys if you're wearing your Jordan 35s the first time maybe put a band-aid around that part around the middle midfoot part or wear a thicker socks around that part and what i did with the fourth game is i folded up my sock into two layers around that area so that it won't shave but uh, i couldn't bear it anymore good thing we finished the game and won so i have to stop playing right now it sucks and my back is hurting because i lifted some weights the other day and i think i over lifted so my back part is aching and let's go back to the sneaker so that's the upper just watch out for that but the fit of the sneaker is really nice it's just the insole now moving on to the cushion part of the sneaker of course the jordan 35 features a very nice forefoot zoom unit it's a very large zoom unit in the forefoot and it's unlocked around the eclipse state 2.0 it's really really bouncy especially on the wooden floor you can really feel the bounce i can feel my jump 
and my second jump being there and my knees are not hurting at all right now it's very good and another upgrade that they made with the 35s is the heel cushion the 34s has a zoom unit in the heel but it was just a hex unit of a zoom but this one it's a big zoom unit around the heel and it is awesome impact protection the heel is very nice together with the carrier phylon of the 35s it's really soft so the zoom unit in the heel is also unlocked so it's really really expands and you can really feel the bounce in the heel and i'm really loving the cushion setup of the 35s if you love the 34s cushion setup you will surely love the 35s cushion i think it's an upgrade from the 34s and now moving on to the outsole of the sneaker you can see some herringbone pattern and some radial part and kind of similar to the 34s and this one i think yeah it's the same depth the rubber material of the outsole is not that deep and it's quite soft so i wouldn't recommend playing with these outdoors because the treads are really soft right now but the traction is really good i'm kind of playing in a dusty court they didn't wipe it but the traction was still gripping on the wood and it was quite nice although the squeak is not there that is what usually happens when you're playing on a dusty court so your sneaker will grip but it won't squeak maybe on a clean court if they wipe it it will have that sound but as you can see on the outsole there's a lot of dust in the forefoot area but it didn't affect the traction of the sneaker and as for the sizing of the Jordan 35s true to size for regular footers and for wide footers go half a size up and if you have the Jordan 34s go with the similar size it has the similar shape and as for the stability of the 35s it's really quite nice it's actually i was comparing it with my 34s the 34s was a little bit wider by maybe a centimeter but this i didn't have any instability problem actually it was really nice and of course the eclipse plate 2.0 the main highlight of a jordan 35 34 signature sneaker the 34 has a wider eclipse plate and i like the eclipse plate 2.0 better compared to the 34s the 34s are a little bit clunky around the heel part midfoot heel part of the sneaker this one they made it smaller and they lifted it up for more lateral support around the midfoot and i felt that and there's more flex around that area which is quite nice so i think this is a big improvement from the eclipse plate 1.0 and as for the price of the Jordan 35s, it is 180 US dollars or 9,000 pesos here in Manila. It is kind of expensive, but if you have the budget and you love the 34s, you are a Jordan fan, this is a nice sneaker to have. And I'll be continually playing with the 35s and let you know the updates of the 35s, especially on the chafing of the insoles that I'm experiencing. Hopefully it won't happen the next game, but I'll give you an update in the full performance review. So this is just the initial impression, initial performance review that I'm giving you. But it broke in quite nicely, except for that chafing issue around my midfoot. But overall, very nice sneaker. And as for the weight, it's not heavy. It's just in the right weight. So that's it for my initial impression for the Jordan 35s. Let me know what you think of the sneaker. I like the COG colorway or the center of gravity colorway. It has nice pops of colors around it. A very good performer so far. This has been Marches once again. Let me know if you have any questions or any comments about the sneaker. Leave me a comment down below. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.